Welcome to Cooking with Benji and Nolan. I'm Nolan, this is Benji. Why don't you, uh, why don't you explain the ingredients to us? Just a little run through. Um, so today we're gonna be starting out with some chicken um, in a can, some uh, relish, of course, some Miracle Whip, mustard, and some crackers. All right, so yeah, so basically we're gonna put mayo and mustard into this pan right here. Uh, I'm just gonna put a little scoop of some mustard into the pan. Get Not much, it's mayo? Yeah. Gonna put some mayo into the pan, all right? That's, that's a little bit of mayo. Perfect. You have to shake it well, because you know, it will taste better. And you're just gonna, oh. We happen not to be rush fans, so we're just gonna leave this here. Yeah. But, seems like we're pretty much done with it. A good, uh, good mixture, as you can see. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're gonna start uh, with the crackers. Yes, sir. Whoa, crackle. Yeah. Oh, we almost forgot to make. We almost forgot one part. <laughs> the chicken. Yeah. The most important ingredient. There you go. Just have that right there. <laughs> yep. So yeah, the chicken has been added now. We got the sauce in there, so. We're just gonna mix it up again. Yeah, mix it, <laughs> yep. Not even sure if this is safe to eat. Um, no, it's good. But it's, good. it's great. We're just gonna pour a little bit. Yeah, you're just gonna put on the cracker. So yeah, we're just gonna dry, so you're just gonna take a little piece of that, right? <laughs> it's not as bad as it could be, honestly. <laughs> it could be worse. It really could be worse. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it has a little seasoning. It does. If I had it's to rank helpful. it at a 10, I'd bring it to a party. That's been cooking with Benji and Nolan. It was a successful day, I would say. A very successful day. Five star chefs here. We'll see you next time. We'll see you next time. Hey, this is my cooking show, my cooking show with Jackson. Okay, so today we're making chicken salad. So we have a lot of ingredients here. We've got relish, we've got mustard, we have chicken, we have mayonnaise and crackers. Isn't that right? Yup. So you put your relish in the chicken. That's all you're putting in? You want to put more in? I mean, that's a little relish for a lot of chicken. Okay, you can put a little bit more relish in if you'd like. Mayonnaise. One more good and scoop. And more mayonnaise. One more good scoop. Okay. All right, that should, that should be good. Let's put some more relish in. Put the mustard in first, and then we can add more ingredients. Like Jackson has said before, he wants more relish. So let's put more this relish is, in. This is where you can put your put your peas in if you would like. Yes, you don't have to though. We don't have any peas. Ta-da! Did you wash your hands? Yes, I washed my hands. Did you? Okay. How is it? What do you think? Is it good? good? Yay! Canned chicken. Yeah. Probably need a can opener for that. Yeah, you know, maybe gonna... some parental guidance because yeah. it's very sharp. You gotta have a bad time if you catch yourself with that. I think we should start with the chicken first. Okay, so what you're gonna do? You're gonna grab your favorite can opener. Okay, just gonna do that. And this can opener's not working. It's okay if you yeah, spill it's... a little bit. It's it's a can opener, it's yeah. a can, it's very compressed. It's gonna be all right. Just make sure you go nice and light when you spin it. The can opener broke. It broke. That's okay. This chicken <laughs> is unopenable. What is this even called? I don't know. <laughs> In a survival scenario, I would not survive. Do you need some help? Possibly, Josh, do you? No, to use can opener? I have used one at least twice. It's okay. gonna be great. All right. We're both inexperienced, but it's okay. Because we're telling you how to cook. Is that good enough right there? I think that's just quality enough. All righty, let's take the lid off. So we got the water done. Nice and steaming. All right, so let's, yeah. That's pretty good. Do you think that's just quality enough? That's quality. It's quality. quality All right. Bowl. You know what? I'm going to give you the honors to pour the sauce in. We'll mix it up sauce. with the big spoon, the big man spoon. Big spoon, of course. 
Gotta have Look at that dripping out deliciousness. Yep. So good. I could eat this on the daily. I would love to eat macaroni all the time. I think Definitely. you should have poured out more water because this is just well, cereal. Well, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Let me just pour the water out real quick. But you're not going to eat it because I love you guys. It's not that bad. See, thank you, Lucas. <laughs> you know what? That's why we love Lucas. This is why we love Lucas. Um, so you see the reason. You see the reason that I didn't pour all the water out is because Janelle looked over at me and said, "Leave a bunch of water left." That's what she said. <laughs> and I, <laughs> I thought that I, I said we should drain it almost completely, but Janelle ruined it and said, "Leave a bunch of water in there." Never. But anyways, I'll see you guys next well, time. Anyways, well, thank you guys for watching. We hope you appreciate. it. <laughs> all right, we're done. We're just we're done. Okay, so we're making mac and cheese today, right? Right, okay. So, you bring your water to a boil, which ours is, and after you bring it to a boil, you open your mac and cheese with scissors or not. Or you can open it with your hands. Either one, whichever is easier. Take out your cheese. Set that to the side. And then you pour your noodles in. And then you dispose of your box. Ready? No, it hasn't been 11 minutes. Have we set a timer? Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. So you, <laughs> you put your mac and cheese. Should I get it? No. Okay, well, here you go anyway. So you put your mac and cheese in here. Welcome her, everybody. It's Alicia. Try some. It's hot. very hot. <laughs> Have fun. <Yeah. laughs> oh. Okay, or don't. It's really good. It's good. Yay! Mac and cheese today. Deluxe. Is, or can you hear me? Yes. Thank you. Can you hear me? Oh, wow. Don't break it. The water has, has been drained. Almost so we completely. remove that from the stove. <laughs> oh, <laughs> have a little access. This is why I always keep. And like squeeze it out. That is looking really good. Hey, 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 hey. I know there were mess ups, but you know, we can like. It was smooth, bro. We can trim that. It's, it's okay. We're going to be making a little party snack. So we have um, peanut butter like bites. Let's go. No, like, we're going one cup. We're going one cup. We're going one cup. I mean, that's a little more than one cup. Is it a little more than one cup? Your side. Uh, I got it. All right, so we're going to get a little cup of these M&Ms here. Listen to that ASMR. Give it a nice. You can just do it quickly. I don't understand why you have to do it like that. Well, it looks better when I do it this way. Look at that. Cup to serve and at a party on, uh, or something. How many people you have? We did one cup of each item, but if you have a lot of people, you could do like I don't know, two cups or more cups. But this is our um, our light guy. Oh, that's the best part about it. It's not wet food, so you could add as many as you want. Okay, we're making a snack. It's healthy. Peanut butter, pretzel filled peanut butter. No. And then you use your M&Ms. And then you have your dry roasted peanuts. It's more than a third of a cup, but we can deal with it, okay. Thank you.